The week dedicated to the World Day of the Sick 2016 has begun. For the first time since 1993, when Pope John Paul II decided to establish this day on February the 11th, the official celebrations will be held in the Holy Land. The central event, the Solemn Mass on Thursday, will be held in the Basilica of the Annunciation in Nazareth. I believe we are the Church of Calvary, the Church of Suffering, the Church of the Cross. We are very grateful to the Holy Father for having chosen this place for the celebration. Our president, uh, Archbishop Simoski, always says the sick kind of needs our help, but then he pulls up, up to heaven. So the sick gets us close to heaven. So celebrating the World Day of the Sick is something very important for the sick and for us. The theme chosen for the 24th day for the sick is a verse from the Gospel of John. Do what he says. Trust in the merciful Jesus like Mary did. In this journey, Pope Francis suggests we pray to ask God for the openness to say yes and the willingness to serve the needy and the sick, to be God's hands, arms and heart to help God perform miracles. The significance of this day has been described in the letter of John Paul II, who, with these words, addressed His Eminence Angelini, the first president of the Pontifical Council. It is important to sensitize people towards the sick and the suffering, but also raise awareness of the suffering of those who offer their illnesses and afflictions for others. The week started with the celebration of the Holy Mass in Ramallah, presided over by the Latin Patriarch Fuad Tual, in the presence of several bishops and many faithful. The delegation of the Holy See will gather every day in a different city for the prayer of Lords and Vespers, and for the celebration of the sacraments of the Eucharist, reconciliation and anointing of the sick. The delegation of the Holy See will also visit some of the many health institutions and works of charitable assistance. On Sunday afternoon they visited various projects founded in Bethlehem, among these, the Holy Family Hospital run by the Order of Malta and the Daughters of Charity of St. Vincent de Paul, founded in the late 19th century to house young expectant mothers and infants in need of help. It is very important to show that wherever you are, the life is protected. And here, in the maternity, you, we are welcoming the life, whoever they are, and whatever the condition of the baby is. In the same building, the Pontifical Council and the official delegation of the Holy See visited the crash, which, without distinction of religion, race or national origin, welcomes children orphaned, abandoned, abused or neglected, entrusted to their care by the Palestinian police. They are offered health care and education, as well as a house and a friend. I love to participate in these conferences. This is such a great experience, so sweet and beautiful. Even suffering becomes an element for which one can understand life as should be lived. Disease may be the way to arrive at a closer proximity with Jesus, who walks with us bearing his cross, wrote Pope Francis in his message for the World Day of the Sick in September. The celebrations that will continue throughout the week are an opportunity to perceive this message.